Good afternoon, everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. And it's not very bright in here. We're having a very uh, rainy, cloudy, yucky day outside. And I don't have very good lighting. Uh, let me try to turn this other light on over here. I don't know if that helps at all, but anyway, I just wanted to come on to a really quick video about uh, how I ship things and why I can ship so fast. Uh, a lot of people hate the shipping part of uh, eBay. I sort of like the shipping part, and that's because I prepare the stuff beforehand, and it only takes a few, not even a minute, to ship an item. So I'll show you how I do it. Um, this morning I sold uh, two things I'm going to ship for you, uh, or package up for you. So let me put this uh, camera down so you can see. I sold this uh, polo, Ralph Lauren polo tie. And this is how I package ties. This, I'm recording this, by the way, so there's no chat up. I take the tie and I fold it in like three different, three folds like that. Sort of keeping it so that it's not real thick in any one spot. And then I take a piece of uh, tissue paper, just one piece. A white tissue paper and I put it diagonally and I fold it over so that there's no crease in the ties from, from my folding. I fold this up and make sure I'm not going to fold that little tip of the tie so I put my finger between the tip and where I fold. And then I fold it over again. And I put a little piece of scotch tape there. I hold it. And now I can see through the light that the tip is like an inch above uh, where the fold is, so it's not going to get bent. So, I ship my ties in these uh, bubble wrap envelopes. A lot of people put roll them up and put them in a little box. I found that they just do fine uh, in this bubble envelope, the way I package them. I've had no complaints at all. And these are free uh, from eBay. If you own a store, you get a, every quarter, you get a certain amount of money to spend at the store, and I spend it all on shipping supplies. So, uh, this bubble wrap envelope is uh, all ready for the tie. I just slip it in along with one of my uh, uh, little postcard things. Uh, about me and my store and everything. This is what gets me good feedback. So I have a hundred percent good feedback. And when I first started eBay, I only had, I don't know, I think less than 200 feedbacks. And now I think I have almost 1800 feedbacks. And they started to come in. I just, uh, Pull that off and seal it, and it's ready for the label. Uh, I started getting good feedbacks as soon as I put those cards in. You could do anything. You can also get these cards free from, um, use these, get them free from eBay, and then you could write a little note, a personal note on the back. Those would be good, too. Um... I may do that because I do have a big stack of them here to use because these are expensive. I get them from Vistaprint. 
uh, but they have writing on both sides and um, they're shiny on the front and they, they are uh, sort of expensive I get lots of them at one time but anyway back to the tie I have already printed out my label when I found out that they had paid I printed out the label uh, from eBay uh, their postage thing always use go through eBay for your print out your postage because uh, you get it cheaper that way uh, less expensive <laughs> so um, when it comes out of the printer I write on how much they paid for the tie and this was on a 10% off sale so he paid seventeen dollars and nine cents and all my ties are free shipping so then I just tear off uh, this part that goes on the package I stick it on that's it it's ready to ship and this part is my receipt so I can keep track of uh, what I sell okay here's a pair of jeans these were on auction I did some auctions this last uh, couple weeks to get rid of some uh, old inventory and this pair of Abercrombie and Fitch they were jeans in a 10 regular boot cut they're just fine jeans but they sat forever I can tell that they are older inventory because here this crinkle I had ordered by mistake a poly poly bags that were more like cellophane and I didn't like them at all and that was quite a while ago so I can tell this is old inventory so I take the tag off that uh, was just for me telling me what it is jeans always weigh over a pound so my jeans I always ship in the padded flat rate uh, priority envelope <clears throat> you'd be surprised how much you can fit in these <laughs> so I put the label on first because it goes on better if it's completely flat make sure you have the Abercrombie and Fitch the jeans when you print out your label have a bunch of labels you have to make sure you look at your label make sure you're putting the right uh, label on the right package so then the jeans and just put into the uh, I can find the opening here into the most jeans fit really well in these packages. Uh, sometimes I have a little trouble getting uh, great big men's jeans into there. Uh, if I if it's going to be a big problem, I can't get it in this. I will probably ship it in this Tyvek uh, envelope. It's bigger, but this one goes by weight, and this one is a flat rate. So then I just tear that off, seal it up, and it's done. Now I'll just show you how I would, this isn't sold yet, but this is what I would do to a piece of clothing that's under a pound. I would, when I um, measure the item and put it in this poly bag, I also weigh it. And when I weigh it, I weigh it with the bag that I think it's probably going to be shipped in. Like this would be shipped in this uh, eBay bag, this size. So what I do is I just uh, put the bag that I'm going to use, and this is a label. It's not printed out, but that's a label. Because every little piece of weight you put on matters sometimes. So then I would uh, weigh this, <clears throat> and it's 10.8, so that means it's 11. You always round up. So that's what I wrote on here, 11 ounces. So when I go to ship, 
I don't have to weigh it again. It's already on here. I know what it weighs. So I go to my, uh, I keep my uh, bags down here, underneath here, and here's that bag. This is a little smaller, but it'll go in there. So then I would have my shipping label printed out already. I would put my shipping label on and I would put my uh, item in the bag, seal it up, and it would be ready to ship. And that's why it doesn't take me very long uh, to ship when I go to ship a bunch of items. So that is my little shipping. Uh, okay, get you back here. That's uh, how I ship most items. Shoes always go in the shoe box. They're calculated shipping. Get this down. Uh, shoes go in the priority uh, shipping shoe box that you can get free from the USPS. And um, so they pay the calculated shipping to wherever they live at and they know beforehand and when they then when they buy something I know if it's shoes I just put it in the shoe box I wrap them accordingly and uh, it's what I would do with shoes I can't think of any other ways uh, other things uh, if you have any other questions about shipping uh, things you have questions about, uh, put it in the comment and I will answer you back. But I thought I'd get this little shipping uh, YouTube video up while I'm home because it's pouring outside. And I was going to go to the store, <laughs> but I don't really feel like going out in this. I'm going to wait till the rain sort of cuts down or maybe go tomorrow morning. I need bird seed and a couple other things. So I'll close for now and I have to upload this and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.